President Obama turned columnist today, writing in the Wall Street Journal and later signing an executive order, mandating a review of federal regulations with the idea of getting rid of some that are anti-business. Correspondent Doug McElway has details. A question much of Washington is asking today, is it the new business-friendly President Obama? His op-ed in today's Wall Street Journal, the capitalist Bible as some call it, called for a new regulatory climate that requires a review of federal rules to remove those, quote, outdated regulations that stifle job creation, but that also protect our safety, health, and environment. His executive order comes almost two years into his presidency, more than two months after his party was chastened at the polls. Some Democrats welcomed the promise of a business climate course change. I think the president not only has to say that we're going to try to do everything we can to get America working again, but he has to look for ways to make that happen as quickly as possible. Republicans welcomed it too, with some skepticism. I think this is a wonderful expression of words. The problem is, too often in this administration, the words don't match the actions. The president offered an example of the often contradictory maze of rules that businesses face. The FDA's calling saccharin safe while the EPA considered it a dangerous chemical, until last month at least when the EPA changed the rule. And he called a CAFE fuel standard agreement, hammered out last spring, a model of how industry, unions, the states, and environmentalists all provided regulatory clarity but others suggest those cafe standards were a model of dysfunction in fact those same all other companies who thought they had a deal they could live with a few years ago are now suing EPA for exactly those rules Republicans and industry leaders say their skepticism is also based on the biggest regulatory hurdle to come down the pike in a long time, that 2,000-page health care law that passed last year. The president made no mention of that in his op-ed. And if he and the Senate are unwilling to budge on the regulations in that behemoth, Republicans fear they may not be willing to budge elsewhere. Shannon?